Warning, F-bombs are armed and may be dropped. Okay, so this is going to be a simple one. How to finish a shackle or how to use a shackle. All right, this is a screw pin shackle, and this is the kind that has the problems. All right, theory, it's very simple. All right, okay. twist it on. It's called a screw pin for a reason. Now, it's on, it looks like it's ready. And here is the problem. The eye is not in line with the center. Now, you might think you're supposed to just crank the hell out of it until you line it up. That's the worst thing you can do because you will damage the shackle, especially over time. What you do is you actually back it down just a little bit. In this case, we went about an eighth of a turn, and it's just a little bit short. There we go. Now it's in line. This is actually how it's supposed to be. Now, turning it sideways, you might see it's, it's a little bit loose. That's okay. Having it a little bit loose is better than having it fail because of the stress, especially on these two pieces here, which are the ones most likely to be damaged. Mousing. Mousing is any time you do something that permanently holds these two pieces into a position. Because I'm cheap, I'm going to use these. This is a temporary mouse. First, put the mouse through the eye, then around the shackle, back into the opening right there, and crank the hell out of it until it pops your knuckles. There. That is a temporary mouse. Might have it on backwards, but anyway. Actually, what it is, I have it on loose. There. All right. That'll hold it in place for a little bit. A permanent mouse. or a semi-permanent mouse, rather, looks like this. This is actually the core from that 550 cord that I uh, cored in a previous video. Just take it through a few times. The size of your mouse has a direct relationship to the size of your shackle, and I'm afraid after 15 years, I've forgotten what the number is. There. Okay, so you've taken it through the three times. You can do it more with this kind of material. Won't hurt you any. And now, take it under a few times. I've actually heard this referred to as a cross mouse, but I've never seen that written anywhere. It really isn't that difficult if your hands don't shake anymore. <clears throat> That's better. All right. And again, the other way.
Okay. Tighten it all up. Make sure it's all very good and tight. There we go. Now you'll notice that it's cross mousing closer to the eye because that's the smaller piece here. And that's pretty common. And just tie a couple of overhand note knots. It's also a lot easier. You uh, had a seaman apprentice standing by to help you out. Hey, McP, get over here. Whatever. And that is a semi-permanent. Okay, it's not going to move. All right. You should put at least four square knots. But uh, this is good temporarily. Two to three days, depending on what you're doing. Should never be used to permanently attach a shackle. Now, we're going to talk about that as I put the permanent mouse on. There's, of course, a much easier way of doing that, which is cutting it, which would involve remembering to bring my knife next time. All right. So, we'll come to pass at some point. You have something you actually need to put this on and leave it on. Not just for a couple days, but with the intention of leaving it on until you throw the object away. This is actually not the best type of shackle to use for that purpose, but should that happen to you, here you go. This is a wire, and the real trick, after you get it on, is closing it. There we go. And... First of all, make sure you have enough pigtail to work with, which I think I do. Now, other side in. Work it down a little bit because this should be stiff wire. Give it a little bit of a twist. There we go. Now, there's actually a tool made for this. That I don't own. Looks like an ordinary set of flat nose pliers. Usually it does have the cutting edge on it. It also has a locking mechanism right here. What looks like a screw usually coming off of one hand, oh, off of this handle. <coughs> you put it on, lock it, pull the strip, pull the screw out all the way. Don't actually need that though. Just need to remember to twist. There you go. Now, this is for very permanent. Like, it's going to be on there for months and years and centuries yet to come. Archaeologists are going to find it and wonder what you were doing. Put the pigtails off. And if you need to, flatten it out. There you go. That is a permanent mouse on a shackle. Remember, this does not need to be tight against here. Just needs to be as tight as possible and in line. Keep it in line and you're fine. Keep calm, mandatory carry on, and properly mouse a shackle.